Okay. I'm going to apologize before I get into this that this is another sad video. It doesn't involve good news. So just a heads up. Um, we met with our doctor today for um, a review appointment to go over everything that happened. And we didn't get good news. Um, my AMH levels are very low. Um, why we didn't know this before is beyond me. Maybe they didn't have the results. I don't know. But I was told that my AMH hormone levels was 2.5, uh, basically giving me an ovarian reserve of a 40-year-old. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's an egg issue. Um, he mentioned that he kind of got that what, during our IVF cycle because I was on 300 units of Pyragon and I only made eight eggs and someone my age should make a lot more than that. Um, also, of those eight, only six were mature and only two were really good looking eggs. Um, so, our chances are even shittier than before. Um, he's putting me on a hormone therapy experimental that they've used on some older patients um, that has shown results but who's to say it'll work um, he told us that our best bet is to, to get an egg donor He asked if I had a sister or cousins who would donate, but I don't. I'm an only child and an only grandchild. Um, I just can't believe this has happened to us. Talk about kick you when you're down. Um, I mean, an egg donor? <sighs> There's private donors, but they usually expect cons um, to be paid and compensation. If that's the case, I'd, we might as well just go the adoption route, which I'm all for. Adoption is fine. Just the thought of knowing that it can take three to five years before a child is placed with you breaks my heart even more. Um, I don't know what to do. I just feel like we're so deserving and we would be wonderful parents. Of course, everything costs so much money. If anyone out there knows a millionaire who wants to help two people become parents, call me. Just kidding. Um, oh. We're going to take the summer off and try and try and stop fertility from controlling our lives for a little while probably easier said than done um, but we need to focus on us and just focus on Chris and Amber for a little bit and wrap our heads around this and try to decide where to go from here 
Um, I'm probably going to take a break from the blog for a little bit. I don't really know what else to do. Um, all of your support and prayers has really touched my heart. And we're not going to lose hope. Um, as hard as this is, we're staying hopeful and with a bit of luck, we will be parents. So, just wanted to update all of you guys on everything because you've all been so wonderful and I've come this far so I might as well share and be open with all of you and share our story but we're just gonna press the pause button for for a little bit but I'll be in touch and I'll talk to you guys soon okay <laughs>